Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another little quick tutorial video here in WWE 2K24. So, how do you unlock everything? That's a great question. <laughs> there's a lot to unlock in this game and there's a lot of different ways to do it. So I'm going to go through everything here today with you guys. Now, everything in showcase mode is showcase exclusive. There is no way you can unlock anything in showcase through other means, including the accelerator that you get with the deluxe and the 40 years of WrestleMania editions of the game. Um, you can see where I'm up to so far, so I've nearly unlocked everything, uh, just not not quite yet. So, yeah, Ev all these guys, arenas, everything, you know, you, you see exactly how it goes. Anyway, uh, so that's Showcase. That's There's no other way there. you got to grind through Showcase. As for everything here in the store, um... All this stuff will unlock automatically if you have the accelerator. Like, literally all of it. However, there is a way to unlock this stuff if you don't have the accelerator, and that is by literally grinding VC. You can see in the bottom right here, I've got 3000 VC. And look, that'll add up over time if you just keep playing matches, that sort of thing. Eventually, you will be able to purchase all these guys, if, of course, you weren't able to get the accelerator or whatever. Didn't even realize Undertaker wasn't a part of the base game. Neither is Triple H. Well, base game, you know what I mean. Not unlocked from the start. So it's good to have something to work towards, but it's also, you know, a little bit annoying that, you know, people like Triple H Undertaker aren't just in the base game. Same with some select arenas and then a lot of titles. I guess retired titles that aren't a thing anymore. And finally moving on, we don't know of everything so far and this stuff is going to keep getting added as we move on. Uh, there are this year finally alternate attires, alternate stars, etc. Uh, that you unlock in my faction are available in the full game. So they are now considered something that you can unlock in the game. So we'll head over to my collection here and we'll see what exactly I have. Um... I do have this Seamus Persona card, which I got just by opening some default packs. So it's a 2009 version of Seamus that is not unlockable in any other way. But once you unlock him in my faction, because he's got a little Persona icon next to him, he's available in all game modes. Uh, I don't think I had any other Persona cards. And here's what I was looking for as well. Um, here you can see the action figure Elite Cena that we had in last year's game. If you bought him at a Walmart, you'd get him exclusive to my faction. You'd only be able to play him in my factions. This year, there's a locker code on screen right now where you can unlock this action figure John Cena to play in exhibition mode in any mode you want. Put him in universe mode. Doesn't matter. You can put him one-on-one -on -one with action figure Cody Rhodes. So yeah, there's going to be a lot of unlockables in my factions this year. And my faction seems more worth it and more of a grind to unlock things that aren't available in the standard game. I've seen that there is an action figure Hulk Hogan, there's a 2014 Seth Rollins, there's all, a lot of guys in here. Um, so there's no real way to unlock everything at the moment because there's stuff we don't know about, I'm sure, in the game. Um, but yeah, those are my main tips. So thank you guys very, very much for watching. If you did enjoy, please be sure to smash the like button, hit the bell, do all those things. Stay tuned for all the content coming soon. Love you all. See you later.